at this. Look how big it is. It's crazy. It's so crazy. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today I'm taking you guys to Lowe's, which I'm sitting in the parking lot right now. And we're going to buy some timber for these raised beds. I'm going to bring you guys along. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. If you do, smash that like button for me if you guys would. Um, I really do like seeing all them thumbs up you guys gave me. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'm wearing my Let's Play Homestead hat. Keeping it Dutch. Uh, if you guys didn't see yesterday's uh, vlog, um, I had a subscriber of mine, Dustin Dean, Dean, uh, he sent me some hats that said, let's play Homestead. Didn't mean nothing by it, just good old fun. We're all playing Homestead. Um, so if you guys want to win one of these hats, go check out Dustin Dean. I'll put his little eye card up here or down below in the description box. Um, all you guys got to do is click on that video, subscribe to his channel, and uh, leave a comment down below and say, Dutch, Dutch sent you. And uh, you'll be entered for the drawing for a free hat. And they are good, good quality. Another shout out for Dustin Dean. Yeah, you guys like him. He's got a lot of stuff going on. He's a smaller channel. We're trying to build him up. Um, I think he picked up like 100 subs yesterday. That's awesome. It's all because of you guys. I appreciate that. And I know he appreciates it. Um, so keep it up, guys. Uh, you guys are doing awesome. You guys are great. Uh, so let's go, let's go look at some lumber. ever uh, I've lifted two by tens by tens uh, before treated lumber they're heavy just want to let you guys know that they are heavy um, I got I'm gonna do three raised beds because after seeing the prices I didn't want to spend 160 bucks I want to spend 120 so uh, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do three raised beds today and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog Guys, all right, I'm back at the house as you guys can see. I got all the wood unloaded. Um, I've changed my design a little bit. I'm doing a four by ten uh, bed. I'm doing three of them, like I said, because I didn't want to spend an extra 40 bucks on the fourth one. I'll do that later on. Uh, but I'm going to do three four by ten beds, and I'm going to show you guys the process and just how easy it is. I've never built one before. I'm going to tell you right now it's easy because I already already know the design in my head how it's going to be. I'll give you guys a detailed list of how to do one. And it cost cost you right around 40 bucks or so. I'll figure it up completely and let you guys know. But let's build this thing. Okay guys, you can kind of see the basic layout. Just four by ten. I got the, it's all treated lumber. Um, two by fours are treated, cut them in half. Um, and, uh, and the two by fours are gonna act as braces on the inside, that way the dirt doesn't push it out or whatnot. It'll just help give more support. I'll show you guys putting this thing together.
guys. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I got done so far. I got all three beds almost all the way put together. I'm gonna show you a mistake I made. My father-in-law came over and was looking at, and he had a really good point. I put those uh, cross braces up and down like this. Um, he said, man, either take them out or, and put stakes around it and uh, or, or lay them down on their side. And that's because uh, that way it'll be, uh, the tiller won't hit it. I didn't think about that. And he's absolutely right. I can't get those ones out without busting the boards and, and breaking them because the screws are sunk, sunk in there so far. So I'll leave that one. But the other two beds I got together, you can see how I've, I've laid them flat like that so the tiller won't hit them whenever, I whenever I'm able to till this. Really windy out here to God. Really windy out here today, guys. So I apologize for that. I got my mic on, but you're probably still gonna hear some stuff. Um, I'll show you one thing um, that I've been doing on these corners right here. I just made some uh, triangle pieces right here and put them in all, put them in all the corners. And I'll show you doing it. I'll show you doing it to uh, this one right here. You can see that's all there is to it. I'm just putting those uh, putting those in there for just a little bit more brace. Seemed to work pretty good. Okay guys, so I got all the beds put together. Um, I left these two up here on this little heel right here because my friend's gonna come over and fill these up with dirt so he can fill this one up. They come over here and fill this one up. He has a tractor. And then we'll, I'll move that one up there, and then he can go over there and fill it up too. So that's all I got done today with these. Um, I figured up these are right at forty dollars to build. Um, really easy to, really easy to put together. I think they're going to last for years to come. Uh, so that's what we got going right now. I wanted to get everything planted today. We just run out too much. We're just running out of time. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do now. We have to go go to a little party and stuff like that. So um, that's what I got done. I got all the, at least I got all the beds put together. You know, my plan is this thing goes about goes pretty far, probably another 75 feet or so. Eventually, I want to have all this set up with um, raised beds. So that's my plan on the garden. Um, hopefully, we get that planted in the next couple of days. Well, let's go do an update, a three-week update on these mutant, huge meat chickens. They are getting so big, it's crazy. This is nuts. This is just insane to me. Look how big they are. And they're all like that. It's got to be two pounds already. Just like three weeks old. I need to weigh it. Look how big their feet are. That's just nuts. The, mu the mutant chickens, I'm telling you. That's crazy. I'm, I'm impressed. I really am. Okay, so the three week update is they're big, really big. Um, they're getting bigger every day. I've went through, I think right at 125 pounds of feed in three weeks. I don't know if that's normal or not, if it's a lot or less. I know it's a, it's a lot compared to uh, regular chickens. It's so windy out here, it's crazy windy. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, but 125 pounds of feed in three weeks. I'm keeping track of that. So at the end of this, I can tell you guys a breakdown, how much they were, how much feed I gave them and all that. Um, so. All right, guys, that's all I got for the vlog today. Hopefully, in the next day or two, um, I'll get my garden uh, planted. I, well, hold on, let's walk over and I'll show you what I got to plant. Um, also, I didn't get to the bees today. It's way, way, way too windy to be opening them bees up. Hopefully, tomorrow I'll get, I'll get to them. And uh, so, let's go over here and look and see what I, what I got to plant. Okay, let's look here. And I got about um, 18 cabbages, the Dutch cabbage. Look at here, the old, old Dutch cabbage. Got it, um, let's see. 
I think I got 24 things of broccoli and a couple bundles of onions. So I talked to Bumblebee Junction last night whenever I was getting, buying these and we figured out how, I wanted to grow a lot of broccoli and a, and a lot of cabbage. So we, he broke it down for me where, I, how much to get for one bed. So one bed will be nothing but broccoli. Another one will be nothing but um, cabbage. And the other one I'll have some onions in there and something else, not quite sure yet. But my plan is, I'm probably going to end up, probably going to be doing at least one more bed or two more beds so I can get my tomatoes and peppers in too. But as of right now, um, early season, I'll be planting broccoli and cabbage in the next day or two. So that's the that's update for you guys. The meat chickens are huge. They're mutants. They're crazy. Um, it's, it's nuts. It just blows my mind. I'm probably going to try to end up butchering some of them earlier. So I'll show you guys that if that happens. Um, I don't know if I should show the butcher part because... There's a lot out there, and YouTube's really cracking down on that stuff, so I mean, it doesn't really matter uh, if I show that part or not. I'll definitely show you guys the processing part, just probably not the dispatch part or whatever. Uh, but all right, guys, hope you liked this vlog today. Um, I don't know how long it was or if it was short or not. I got to put it all together. Um, if you guys liked it, smash that like button for me if you would. If you're not subscribed to my channel, just ask you please subscribe. We got a lot going on around here. And if you do subscribe, click that little bell for me so you get notifications. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later.